Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Sunday, the 11th of September. This is my second video today, and if you haven't already watched it, I did a rundown of whether or not Archie and Lilibet were going to be entitled to have HRH Prince and Princess titles. If you haven't already seen it, I've clicked a link in the top right hand corner. Click on it, and it will take you to my previous video. But in this video, I really need to address this and yesterday's walkabout. Yesterday afternoon, the Prince of Wales, Princess of Wales, and Harry and Meghan walked down the long walk of Windsor and greeted the public. Now, a lot of people were quite rightfully upset about this, and I myself thrown things at the TV, metaphorically speaking. But we must remember that this is duty above anything else. William, as the heir to the throne and the Prince of Wales, has a duty to his late grandmother, the Queen, to do the right thing. Now, the crowd were apparently only expecting William and Catherine, but both couples emerged from the Black Audi late in the afternoon. William and Harry exchanged a few words, though Kate and Meghan stood silently apart. They then spent 40 minutes inspecting the floral tributes and shaking hands with well wishes, taking flowers from them, greeting them, and then the aides then placing the flowers in their rightful place. Apparently, a palace source has confirmed that William extended an olive branch to Harry after a chat with King Charles. Kensington Palace spokesperson added that William had invited Harry and Meghan to join him and Kate during yesterday's evening's walkabout. They said the Prince of Wales invited the Duke and Duchess to join him and the Princess of Wales. The Prince of Wales thought it was an important show of unity at an incredibly difficult time for the family. But there was an extended negotiations between the camps, claim sources, that delayed their arrival by 45 minutes. Now, some say that was just purely to give Harry and Meghan time to get ready. Of course, Omid Scooby then tweeted later on saying that the invitation was made at the 11th hour. Giving a little bit of shade there, hey Omid. Harry apparently, or so the media said, looks slightly tense. Or according to body language expert Judy James, he was using a barrier gesture, one that he uses to show anxiety, where he has his hand clutching his jacket in front of him. But Judy continues, but William looked a lot more relaxed. He looked to be the one instigating the display of unity to honour his grandmother's memory. And that's it, isn't it? That's the crutch, honour in his grandmother's memory. I didn't agree with it happening. I was shocked, dismayed, slightly perplexed. But then I got to thinking, it's duty above anything else. And it shows a united front. Remember, this couple have spent the past two years throwing grenades at the royal family, one after the other. They've accused the royal family of being racist. But William, as the heir to the throne, put duty before anything. Don't get me wrong, I was fuming. But it shows unity. But isn't it funny how all the Sussex fans are all going, oh my God, they're together, you're united, isn't it wonderful? Remember what Meghan said? You're all going back on your words now, aren't you? Because it's wonderful. Now, this doesn't show that they're back in the fold. This doesn't show that they are one big happy royal family at all. Far from it but it shows respect to the Queen. And I can imagine that behind closed doors, things are still frosty. Now, I can't put this because it's copyrighted in the video, but I will put some stills through. There was a magical moment where Meghan was going down the long walk, greeting people. The woman in blue is my hero. She literally will not look at Meghan. She refuses to give her hand and the utter contempt in her face is quite remarkable. It is fantastic. But remember, this is about optics. This isn't about the two conflicting families and what has happened over the past two years. This is about the Queen. This wasn't scheduled to happen. It happened at the 11th hour. There was also a very, very remarkable moment where Meghan was speaking to a lady in the crowd. Williams Ecury tried to to take the flowers off Megan and was basically told no. Again, I can't put the actual video, but I, here's the stills. What she said was, I told you I'll take them. She sees the camera. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Her mask slipped slightly. 
A lot of people are speculating on why this happened, but royal protocol is there that the aides take the flowers from the royal family and then place them where they should go. What Meghan did was rude, basically. She snapped. She snapped at the aide, and it was William's aide at that. They were there as a show of unity. They were there as a show of respect, but their body language was all over it. She was fidgety. She was playing with her hair. She wasn't comfortable, and it showed. Remember, this is a woman that went onto Oprah and attacked Kate. She said that she made her cry, that Kate made her cry. But the dignity and poise that Kate showed is remarkable. I couldn't have done it. Could you? Of course, the Sussex squad and that side of the field are saying that William and Catherine needed Harry and Meghan to show unity. They didn't need to do anything. But it shows that they're bigger people that they did. I get it. I get why people are mad. I really, really do. And it really doesn't help that the media are saying the Fab Four are reunited again. Nothing could be further from the truth. This just shows you how the royal family put duty before family. Can you imagine the optics if they hadn't have been involved? Invited if they were completely shunned and how the world's media would have looked upon that. They would have painted Harry and Meghan as the victims. You could clearly see that they were not at ease with each other's presence. William and Harry exchanged only a couple of sentences between them and even less between Catherine and Meghan themselves. They didn't mingle with each other. They stayed apart and went down the Royal Mile. The only time that they came back together was when they went and they stood at the car and said goodbye. That was it. It just shows an even bigger rift. But William and Catherine put duty before anything else. And please rest assured, there would have been no Netflix camera crew allowed. I am absolutely certain of that. William would not have permitted that. Having said that, that will not probably stop Netflix from requesting these video copyrights to be allowed to be used in whatever documentary or show that they are compiling at the moment. Rest assured they will be used, which is a worry. But there was little warmth between any of them. It was an olive branch out of a sense of duty, pure and simple. But I truly do get how angry people are at this after everything that has happened. Everything isn't fine and dandy. Everything isn't forgiven. There is no fab four. There was virtually no interaction. And as they all got into the car, as they drove away, I would have loved to have been in a fly on the wall just to be in that car. I'd imagine it's quite a frosty reception. Before I end this video, I'd just like to touch on the beautiful tribute that the Prince of Wales, William, put up. This is what he said. On Thursday, the world lost an extraordinary leader whose commitment to our country, the realms and the Commonwealth was absolute. So much will be said in the days ahead about the meaning of her historic reign. I, however, have lost a grandmother. And while I will grieve her loss, I also feel incredibly grateful. I have had the benefit of the Queen's wisdom and reassurance into my fifth decade. My wife has had 20 years of her guidance and support. My three children have got to spend holidays with her and create memories that will last their whole lives. She was by my side at my happiest moment and she was by my side during the saddest days of my life. That is beautiful. And you can read a lot into that from what he has said. Words speak a thousand words sometimes, and that says a lot about William. He's got the decor, the duty, and the dignity he's inherited from his grandmother. And that's all that this walkabout was about, duty. As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.